Hello, in this video we will be taking a look at yet another action camera for our collection. This time it was a camera that I believe we purchased for less than $50. There was a coupon on Amazon available for this camera, but just keep in mind that um, I cannot guarantee the price that you're going to purchase these cameras at. Their coupons and the discounts and the, the percentages off will vary the sales, things like that. So let's get started with this video. What do we have here? Another cheap action camera. These cheap action cameras are so versatile. Um, and that is because they can have a lot of features. Really, so many of them less than $100. And a lot of them around $50 or less. Which camera do we have today that we're going to take a look at? The first portion of this video will be the unboxing portion. So if you're interested in looking to see what kind of accessories we have and how to use the camera, feel free to watch this portion of the video. If you'd rather not listen to me talk about this camera and you would just like to see the test footage, please feel free to go to the next part of this video. The last portion of this video will be some sample videos and sample photos taken with this camera if you'd rather just skip past the part where I talk about the accessories. But for now, let's talk about what is in this box and what kind of camera we will be looking at. This is not a review. This is just an unboxing with some video samples and photo samples at the last part of this video. But <clears throat> in the later video, I'm sure we will have some thoughts once we've had the opportunity to use this camera. The Wolfang Action Camera, the model GA100. That's what we will be taking a look at today. Camera is pictured here in the underwater housing. Most cameras, if not all of them, most, will have a separate underwater housing that will hopefully prevent uh, the camera from getting damaged if it's in the water when you have it in the underwater housing. Of course, that's not a guarantee. It's possible that a camera can leak even if it's in the water house, underwater housing, but we'll go over that in separate videos. For now, we're not testing it underwater. In this video, we're just gonna test it outside of the water and we'll show you the results so you can decide for yourself if this is something that you're interested in purchasing. So what do we have here? The Wolfang GA100. Again, nothing on this side. On this side, we're getting into a little bit of specifications, supposedly all the way up to 4K resolution. Waterproof with the underwater housing and a, a feature, a time-lapse feature. External microphone available to enhance the audio quality, which you can plug into the camera, the microphone, external microphone. So now that we've just covered the basics, which is really just very, very, very basic, not really much specifications listed on the actual box, but now obviously we are getting into that right away. We have our quick start guide, which will give us uh, some insight into what kind of accessories are included, maybe how to use those accessories with each other, but really I'm not going to be using these accessories except the underwater housing. Uh, I am just going to be uh, testing the camera, um, just the camera itself. I'm not going to be attaching it to anything. Again, this is the Wolfang <coughs> GA100. So we have our quick start guide. Now we have our user manual, a more detailed look into how to use the camera and the different features, how to perhaps take out the battery, insert the micro SD memory card, um, the features that are available, photos, videos, time-lapse, slow motion, maybe different kinds of resolutions. One thing I will say, keep in mind that as a separate purchase, not all cameras, I mean, there's very few bundles that will actually give you a micro SD memory card. This is not one of them. You will need to purchase separately a micro SD memory card unless it specifically says on Amazon that the one is included. And even then, maybe that's not a guarantee. You will need to separately purchase a micro SD memory card. This is one that I had purchased already. In order to store your footage, essentially in order to use the camera, you cannot store your videos, your photos without a memory card. The memory is not built into the camera. You will need to separately purchase a micro SD memory card. Most, if not all, cameras, if not all of them, will accept a 32 gigabyte card. These are very small, but they have a lot of memory. And you will just need to separately purchase one. They're available on Amazon, other retailers. Micro SD memory card. You will need a micro SD memory card in order to store your footage, unless you have a special bundle that indicates clearly in the product description that you have a memory card available. Okay, so we have the actual camera itself currently in the underwater housing. I'm going to take off this plastic. Here it is, here is the camera. As you can see, it says Wolfang, that is the brand, and I think we have the, the GA100, that is what we have, the model. Obviously, some companies make different cameras, such as this one. This seems to be the entry level entry uh, in this line of products we have here. So this is really the cheapest one. We did purchase this one with a coupon for less than $50, which is quite nice. Here's the camera in the underwater 
housing to take off the underwater housing pull up at the front or rather pull up here first ah okay so you got to pull up this little kind of button then up and there it is there's the underwater housing comes off very sturdy to insert the camera in the uh, underwater housing seems very secure given that you have multiple steps just to open it now here is the um I'm gonna kind of just um, trying to trying to uh, take out this piece of plastic here. So let's see if we can do this really quickly. There we go. Okay, so we got the plastic out, and now we are gonna just take a look at the camera. What do we have here? This is the Wolfang J100 again. Here is the actual camera itself. Um, and it feels very lightweight. That's probably because we haven't inserted the battery, but to do so, all we need to do is just press to the left here and we have a space insert. The battery here, you will have a space to insert. Um, this little flap allows you to insert the memory card, the micro SD memory card, a space to insert your external microphone if you choose to plug that in. And last but not least, your USB cable for charging your camera and transferring photos and videos from your camera to your computer. So we're gonna insert the battery, we're gonna insert our memory card. Again, that will be a separate purchase, micro SD memory card, separate purchase. Then we're gonna start using the camera, show you what the settings are, and then the last part of this video will be sample videos and photos. So here's the camera itself. Again, you have the underwater housing, which will hopefully help the camera to be waterproof, but I cannot guarantee that for you. This is really, sometimes in life there are no guarantees and these cameras are no exception with respect to uh, the ability to be waterproof. We are not gonna guarantee that your camera, there will be no leaking uh, in through the underwater housing, but we can do a test in a couple weeks since there's a pool around here. So we're gonna do that. Here's the camera, the Wolfang GA100, and let's see what kind of accessories we have in addition to the underwater housing. So we're going to put the camera aside right here and we're going to see that we awesomely, maybe that's not a word, which is awesome, we have two uh, batteries included. So one of them, of course, we're going to put to the side because we don't need it. And one of them we are going to insert uh, into our camera. So all we do, very user friendly so far, just push here, line up this, this little, line it up, the battery, and then just push. There we go. And... Uh, couldn't be easier than that. Very simple. Uh, let's just insert the memory card while we're at it as well, because we're going to be just showing you the menu. Hopefully there's some battery life here. So the memory card, which I said is a separate purchase is going to go over here. Just kind of uh, make sure you do it the right way. There's like a little, little kind of little diagram. You could probably see I'm pointing to it right now, showing you how to insert it. Now take your fingernail or like a thin metal object and here, the, listen to the click. Um, that wasn't it. Ugh, okay, fine. Let's take our thin metal object. Now, listen to the click. Okay, there's the click. Now we got our memory card, we have our battery, so we're almost ready to go. Why don't we just look at the accessories re really quickly, most of which I will not be using because uh, they won't really, I don't, I just personally don't really attach the camera to anything, but Feel free to do so, but if you're interested in what is actually included <clears throat> in this box, we have a decently sized box labeled accessories. So, there must be accessories in here. Um, okay, so here we go. So, let's just go kind of little by little. Actually, let's just do this. Oh. Oh my gosh. Uh, whoa. Okay. <laughs> Okay, that went fairly, fairly well. All right, here's all of our accessories. Okay, let's just let's just talk about what is included here. Obviously, we had the camera, which we just talked about. A cloth for cleaning your lens. That's always very convenient, uh, especially when the camera's not in the underwater housing. The camera can potentially get quite dusty, so I do recommend keeping the camera in the underwater housing when you're not using it, of course. Um, or even when you're filming, just the audio might be a little bit muffled. So we have some straps, some standard mounts and accessories and attachments that I don't really use. So I'm going to put them here with our extra battery, the cloth. We're going to use that. This kind of uh, interesting little clip we have here. 
Uh, really lots of interesting standard accessories that I just probably will not be using. So just put them to the side there. I'm sorry, I'm not really going over these. I mean, okay, first of all, I don't know if I've ever seen this many uh, standard accessories with the with an action camera. I mean, that's just kind of cool. Uh, very cool, actually. But I won't, I won't really be using these. So, I mean, if you want to take a look, it's just it's all this stuff. They're, they're included with most cameras. So, like, for a helmet, I don't know, a scooter, uh, a, a, a bicycle, things, things of that nature. But let's just talk about the things that we will be using. Most importantly, our, our micro, uh, sorry, our USB cable to, trans to attach to the camera to transfer files from your camera to your computer. One end goes to the camera, and then the other end goes to your laptop, your all-in-one computer, your computer tower, desktop, etc. So this is important. You do need your USB cable for charging and transferring files. An external microphone, very handy. There is a slot for that, um, for the external microphone that's right here. So this will ideally work to enhance your audio and then you can clip the microphone wherever you want. So this is an alternative to using the camera's built-in microphone, okay? So we got the batteries, we have our USB cable, we have our external microphone, we have the underwater housing. Two batteries is always convenient. Uh, we don't have a separate charging station uh, for charging our batteries, but that's okay. We can just charge via the USB cable to our computer. Remote control, I won't be using this, but it's nice to have uh, in case you'd like to initiate the recording or the photos remotely. But most importantly, we'll just be using these two things, or rather these three things, the underwater housing, the USB cable, and the camera itself. So now that we've sort of made a very long video that most people probably have not watched in its entirety up to this point, let's actually turn on the camera and see if there is any battery life available so we can go over the settings because that's what we're really interested in. Does the camera record good video? That's all subjective. So again, if you'd rather not listen to me talk any more about this camera, feel free to go to the next part of this video with some sample photos and videos recorded with this camera at a resolution that it will specify while I am recording the video, but if you'd like to just watch a little bit more, let's actually turn on the camera and talk about the settings. Is there any battery life? Let's find out by holding down the power button. And there is battery life. Wolfang the GA100. So what do we have here? Let's just choose the English language. Uh, I'm not really interested in the um, changing the time right now. That's fine. Okay, the date format. Uh, let's not choose the date right now. Format the memory card again. As you saw, we did insert a micro SD memory card, so that is a separate purchase. That's what's asking. Format the memory card, yes, if the memory card has been used in a different device, which in this case it has been. It was previously used in a different device. <clears throat> you will want to format the memory card. If it doesn't give you that option, you can always go to the settings later and format it yourself if you'd like. The default resolution is 4K at 30 frames per second, but let's see what we have by just tapping the power button and going through to the settings. So we have photos as an option. Seems that we have 20 megapixels as the default, but let's see what if we want to change our settings. That's for playback mode. We haven't recorded any files here. Now, here's our settings. We're gonna go through this, then we're gonna actually test the camera. Video resolution goes all the way up to 4K. You also have 2.7K. 1080p, that's my personal favorite setting. Let's go to 1080p, 60 frames per second. 720p, 120 frames per second. So let's do 1080p. Image stabilization is an option here. Um, we'll test that out later. Uh, time lapse video, slow motion, record with audio, yes, uh, video resolution. And then let's go to the other settings by again tapping the power button. The photo resolution all the way up to 20 megapixels. Some other settings here. Some settings for your photos. Uh, let's turn down the volume so there's no beeping sound. There we go. Perfect, so that uh, when we are operating the camera, there's no beeping sound. Um, let's just turn off the beeping sound. Um, okay, then the last part of the video settings, power off, let's turn off the power off so it doesn't automatically turn off the camera. Um, date and time. Okay, uh, let's just date format, none. Timestamp, I mean, sorry, the date and timestamp, turn it off. Uh, upside down off screen saver. Let's turn that off so we the screen doesn't time out. Formatting, we already did that and we are done. <clears throat> I believe we are done. So that's it. Video settings, photo settings, time lapse, uh, slow motion, etc. We have 1080p 60 frames per second. 
All we have left to do is test the camera. Thanks for watching. This has been an unboxing video of the Wolf Fang GA100. Uh, we're going to go test the camera right now. Sample photos, videos will follow shortly. Thanks for watching this video. Have a nice day. This has been an unboxing video followed by some sample videos. This is the Wolf Fang GA100 action camera. Purchased on Amazon, including which includes underwater housing and two batteries, but no micro SD memory card. That will be a separate purchase. You will, just, you, you will, sorry, you will need to separately purchase your memory card. Video samples and photo samples will follow shortly. 1080p video test, 60 frames per second. Ten eighty P video test, sixty frames per second with the Wolfang GA one hundred action camera. Ten eighty P video test, sixty frames per second. Ten eighty P video test, sixty frames per second with the Wolfgang GA one hundred action camera. Ten eighty P video test sixty frames per second. Hello, this is a two point seven K video test, thirty frames per second, with the Wolfgang GA one hundred action camera. Two point seven K video test, thirty frames per second. Two point seven K video test, thirty frames per second. Two point seven K video test, thirty frames per second. With the Wolfang GA one hundred action camera, two point seven K thirty frames per second. Two point seven K resolution, thirty frames per second, with the Wolfgang GA one hundred action camera. Two point seven K video test, thirty frames per second, with the Wolfgang GA one hundred action camera. Two
2.7K video test, 30 frames per second with the Wolfang GA100 action camera. Point seven K video test, thirty frames per second with the Wolfang GA one hundred action camera. Two point seven K video test, thirty frames per second with the Wolfang GA one hundred action camera. Two point seven K video test, thirty uh, frames per second with the Wolfgang GA one hundred action camera. Hello, this is a ten eighty P sixty frames per second video test. With the Wolfang GA100. <laughs> 1080p video test, 60 frames per second. Video test 60 frames per second with the Wolfang GA100 action camera. Ten eighty P video test, sixty frames per second. frames per second video test with the Wolfang GA100 action camera. Ten eighty P video test sixty frames per second. Video test 60 frames per second with the Wolfang GA100 action camera. Ten eighty P video test, sixty frames per second with the Wolfang GA one hundred action camera. 
Hello, this is a 1080p video test, 60 frames per second with the the Wolfang GA100 budget-friendly action camera recently purchased on Amazon. 1080p video test, 60 frames per second with the GA, the Wolfang GA100 budget-friendly action camera. We are outside on this Monday. Very sunny day. Testing out this camera so you can decide for yourself if you think you like the video quality and are possibly interested in purchasing this product. This is again the Wolfang GA100, which we purchased on Amazon. Don't know if it's available on other uh, websites, other retailers. And here it is. Very nice day today. 1080p video test, 60 frames per second, my personal favorite video setting. Combination of good quality and smooth video, depending on the camera, but so far, so good. Uh, we're gonna take a look at this footage as soon as we get back home. This is, again, a 1080p video test, 60 frames per second. Uh, 1080p 60 frames per second with the Wolfang GA100 action camera. Currently, image stabilization is not enabled. However, it is an option here on this camera. 1080p video test, 60 frames per second. Hello, this is a 1080p video test, 60 frames per second with the Wolfang GA100 budget-friendly action camera recently purchased on Amazon. Here's the camera. 1080p video test, 60 frames per second. How well can you hear me right now? How good do you think the video quality is? Budget friendly action camera. The Wolfang GA100. Ten eighty P video test at sixty frames per second. This is the Wolfang GA100 1080p 60 frames per second video test. Hello, this is a 1080p video test, 60 frames per second with the Wolfang GA100 action camera recently purchased on Amazon. Wolfang GA100 action camera. Ten eighty P video test at sixty frames per second. Ten eighty P video test sixty frames per second with the Wolfang GA one hundred action camera that you see here. Ten eighty P video test sixty frames per second.
1080p video test. 60 frames per second. With the Wolfang GA100 action camera. Ten eighty P video test, sixty frames per second. The Wolfang GA one hundred action camera. Ten eighty P video test sixty frames per second. Ten eighty P video test, sixty frames per second with the Wolfang GA one hundred a budget friendly action camera. Ten eighty P video test, sixty frames per second. Hello, this is a two point seven K video test, thirty frames per second with the Wolfang GA100 action camera that we are recording with right here. Wolfang GA100. Two point seven K video test at thirty frames per second. Two point seven K video test, thirty frames per second. This is the Wolfang GA100 action camera. This is a 2.7K video test at 30 frames per second. I'm trying to see how well, can you hear me right now? How good do you think the video quality is <clears throat> on this budget friendly action camera recently purchased on Amazon the Wolfang GA100. This is a 2.7K video test, 30 frames per second. Two point seven K video test at thirty frames per second. <clears throat> 